All right, guys, you guys wondering, that last episode, we talked about Hobby Japan. So this is technically more expensive than Hobby Japan and other models. Why? Because it's a bit more detailed. So the details are very you know, apparent, you know. So just a little history and a background about initial models. They come up with 164 all the way up to 118s. And most of these models, they're not like Hot Wheels. They are more of a static model for you to enjoy. And you can't actually push them. No, you can't, you can't do that, no. So look at the boxing. It's the same size packaging with the acrylic case and with the base. It is. It has details throughout every single angle in a small scale model. So this is a limited in number and uh, it stays there in the casing. And look at that, the platform itself has this engrave, engravement of the RE Amamiya and it tells you the model of the Mazda FD3S and uh, yeah we're gonna open the acrylic and we're gonna show you how you how this car looks like in comparison to the last video with the hobby japan is la beauty this is detailed if you're wondering why don't i just open it i just don't want to get my fingerprints on it it looks beautiful the way it is i mean like if i were to show you a static video so what's the difference all right we have the re mma kit here in this RX-7, same scale as the Hobby Japan and you near know, the RX-8, RX-7s. So what we have is a carbon fiber uh, spoiler in scale and it has the body kit of the RMMEA of course. I'm sure you guys are guessing where is the carbon plate at the fender? Well, maybe there's some minor details that are not there, but this will suffice. You can actually see the rims in detail as well as the caliper and the disc, uh, the caliper is not as apparent, but it's there. And if you notice as well, the front lamps, you know, it's flush, it's clean. It's not a pop-up headlight like the previous model. So it's purely detailed. And it has the interior bits in there. No, you do not have a colored uh, bucket seat, but you can see it like a Hot Wheel, but I guess it's more detailed. This is in fact resin. It is not die cast it is resin just like any other uh, models like hobby japan because resin you can actually mold them more easily than die cast it is meant to be static it's just like a mental piece so this is something i would like to adore to look at every day if you have a garage or if it's just like this you know on this moving platform this surface itself mimics carbon fiber with the thread red threading going all around it with the nice plate there all right i'm gonna open it <clears throat> fine i'm ratchet you guys all right took it off from the platform right very nice plastic anyway right and that is the car that is really beautiful. It has a um, good weight to it, not like a Hot Wheel. It's, this is slightly lighter, but yeah, that's how the bottom looks like. There are other models that we're gonna review later on from different kind of uh, mate, uh, companies. But for an RX-7, I would say that this company, Initial Model, does it best. You guys should check out the 118 scale. They are really fabulous one, but they go for about near thousand bucks beyond if you find a good one but look at how it looks like it's quite fascinating to see the front headlamps reminds me more of like one of our members car in yellow and you have the rotary symbol rotary symbol Woo. imagine the engine is right behind the wheel that's fantastic uh, if you guys are interested in this model or any other kind of models because there's everything else besides mazda you can actually go to Collector's Cube, check out the Facebook, and you guys can check out his live, and then he'll just announce when he's gonna have his live. Yeah. All right, guys, till then.